appreciate you. DJ asked the same question to Tolu. What, what kind of went into the jersey number change? Um, I want to go back to my old roots. You know, I was number zero in my whole life. You know, 13 kind of filled out the place for me. So I'm back to the old DJ Jeffries. You know, that's, that's what I want to do. You guys got a lot of new faces on your team this year. I guess mm -hmm. who's kind of standing out among the incoming transfers? I mean, all of them are standing out, but like, um, I really can't say which one is just standing out, but like, all of, all of them are doing good. I would say Sean Davis, uh, Eric Reed, you know, Will McNair is doing good things. Um, the freshmen are doing good, you know, all those guys. So all of them are pitching in and learning and doing good. So. I just don't want to say one guy. With a new coach coming coming in, how have you kind of seen like the just the scheme scheme of the coach's kind of system, you know, changed you know in your first training camp? Well, a, a word that he likes to say to us all the time is created chaos. You know, like so he wants to go out there and dictate. He's more of a defensive guy. You know, like he wants to go out there and win games on defense. Like he doesn't really care what you do offensively as long as you buy in defensively and like pressure the ball and do all the tough things like rebound, dive on the floor sprint hard, you know, like all the little things. So this is identity. He's all about toughness and all about defense. Like you want to grit and grind every day. What do you and, think of that? Um, it, I like it. You know, I, I like playing, you know, getting up and down the court, you know, being into people, you know, dictating how things go. Because if you don't, you know, then you just sit there and relax and let people punch you in the mouth. We, we're going to be the ones that punch people in the mouth this time. So. I asked Tolu about this, but he had a lot of memories of like, you know, watching NCAA tournament, not being able to play in it. What's it like watching that tournament when you are not playing in it? I mean, it's an unbelievable feeling. Like, you know, like you playing against that in front of thousands of people, you know, people are watching it and back at home, you know, like I bet it's no, you probably couldn't even describe the feeling, you know, like, and that's a feeling that I want to see. And like, hopefully we get there this year. Like, I want to go see what the NCAA the, the tournament like. <laughs> what do you feel like some of the strengths of this team? Um, our inside scoring, um, our togetherness. We got. Um, I feel like we're more together. You yeah. know, I feel like we're more of a, a team. We depend on each other, and I feel like we're a better shooting team than people give us the credit for. You know. Yeah. You know, you mentioned that you're more of a team, but you know, with a lot of transfers, how has that you know transition been? You know, really quickly. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know. Some days you have your ups and downs, but like at the end of the day, you're gonna have adversity through the season. So like when things get hard, we still try to find ways to love each other and push each other and you know, just be there for each other. So like building that brother that brothership and that family ship, like everything else will fall into place. So Lou said how much he wanted you and Shaq to come back when you entered the portal. Did mm -hmm. you get that support from your teammates telling you guys to like come back to Mississippi State? Oh uh, yeah, they of course totally was on me every day. He was like, Man, what you gonna do, what you gonna do? But you know, like like I told him, I'm coming back, you know, I ain't gonna when I start something, you know, I'm always finish it. So I'm, I'm here to finish it with these guys. You know, hopefully everything goes right with us this year. You know, we're going to go out there and give it our all and, you know, give Mississippi State fans some cheer for and be proud, proud of. What do you think Tolu could do with the full season? Um, Tolu, man, I mean, I don't even know. You know, he probably could do more than we did last year. You know, like what he did last year being hurt, you know, it was amazing. So, like, just him. Just seeing them happy and being able to, you know, play a full season. You know, I know he's gonna go out there and, and give it his all and probably dominate out there using every night. You know, so he's dominant. Talk to me about that journey. It's been, you know, a long ride. Originally commit to Kentucky, the mm -hmm. different stops that you made, and then getting to this point. Just, you know, what has that process been like now that you're here? I'd say it's been a stressful, long, long journey, man. But like, I'm just thankful to be here, you know, like at least I'm still out here playing basketball, you know, everybody goes through ups and downs in life, you know, and I've been through a lot of downs, but you know, I say I'm in good spirit right now, you know, like my grandmother and my family do a good job, you know, keeping me composed, keeping me, you know, uplifted, and, you know, like now I just feel grateful to be here to play basketball, you know, play with these guys and being in the SEC and just go out there and be me again, you know, have fun with the game. Is there anything that you would have changed about the process from, you know, the stops that you made in the past, you know, the big commitment to start with, and, you know, pulling your name out of the transfer portal now? Um, it's definitely, you know, you have your regrets, but, you know, at the end of the day, I'm not going to regret nothing that happened. Everything happened for a reason. You know, it's probably another piece of the story of my story, so you never know what your story is, and, like, hopefully mine is a good one. Just side note, what, what is your relationship right now with, with Kentucky? And, you know, what do you – good good spirits with them? I don't know. I'm, I'm sure you don't have them on speed dial, obviously. <laughs> but just, you know, is it, is it good good vibes with both sides? Uh, it's always love with Kentucky, man. Like, I just – I like messing with the fans sometimes. I'm always love Kentucky. You know, they, 
when I come in there, they show me so much love. You know, there's no hate, there's no love and hate there. I love them. I appreciate it, Hey, Tony Smith, uh, Smith Sports. <laughs> what up, bro? Hey, man, I just got a couple questions. What's I don't up? want to be here too long. All right, go okay. ahead. What's up, man? First question, yeah. who the best looking on the team? You looking at him? Okay. Not you. <laughs> <laughs> me. Second question, Yeah. who the worst dressed on the team? Philby Cameron. <laughs> nah, keep me you were hunting now, be for real. Eric Green. Okay, okay, that's a right. good answer. That's a good answer. Who is your favorite team and why? Alright, flip the camera on yourself. You're a great guy, man. Man. Man, I'll hug you if I win in front of these people. Man, man you can hug me, man. Go, let's hug it yeah, out. Come on, hug it out. Come on, hug it out. Man. Yeah. All right, I got a couple more questions. Man. Whatever. What, what's your biggest um, expectation for the season? More than anything, just make it to the tournament. That's a great answer, bro. What about you? I think I got the same answer you got. You got the same answer? Yeah, I, I right, like yeah, that yeah, yeah. So we gonna make it? We gonna make it, bro. Yeah. We gonna make it. I think that's my last question. That's your last y'all question? Y'all good, y'all gone, y'all gone. <laughs> <laughs> we good? Yeah. All right, y'all, appreciate y'all.